So for anybody that knows me, knows that I like to automate stuff. I like to write scripts or tools or programs to use the power of the computer to make me not have to do repeated tasks over and over again. In general, I try to abide by the rule that if I've done the same thing three times over, then it's time to automate that thing. And as I was looking for an example of this to use in this video, I realized that I'd already created a very small tool to remove part of the repetitive process that goes into making these videos. It's only a very small tool, but this script saves me absolutely loads of time when it comes to copying my videos from my camera over to my laptop for editing. Let me show you the script in question. This is the script called VidPull. It is incredibly simple. All it does is find an Android device which is plugged into the computer and I actually record all of this on my Android phone. From that device it then downloads the newest MP4, so the newest video that exists in that phone. So I use it as soon as I finish recording a video, I plug in my phone, I type in vidpull and hit enter and it will just automatically take the newest video and put it into my folder for me to edit. The reason that I'm showing you this is because I want to highlight one of the most powerful tools in an Android developer's toolkit, and that is the ADB command. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge, and it's essentially a command line tool that lets your computer and your phone talk to each other really easily, and through the terminal, of course. Over on the Google developer website, there is a whole page about ADB, uh, how to use it, and some of the cool things that it can do. I'll link to this page in the description down below. In this video, I just wanna highlight two very specific ADB commands, and that's ADB pull and ADB push. You can type in ADB help to show the help guide for ADB. And actually, I'm just gonna pipe that into Vim really quickly so that we can look at it a little bit easier. I'm gonna search for pull, and here we go. These are the lines in question. Push and pull are file transfer commands. Push pushes a file onto the device, and pull pulls a file from the device. You're essentially copying files to and from the device. To use the commands, it's incredibly simple. We'll start with adb push, which takes its first argument as the file that you want to push onto the device. So in this case, I have a test file that has nothing in it, and then the location on the device that I want to put it into. So SD card. Hit enter, and it says one file has been pushed onto the device. So test.txt, although it's empty, exists on this phone here next to me. ADB pull, on the other hand, takes one or two arguments. For this example, I'm gonna just delete the test.txt file that we had in this folder before, and I'm gonna prove it's not there. Then I'm gonna do the ADB pull command. ADB pull SD card, that te uh, test.txt file, which we pushed onto the phone before, and then, I'm not, and then I'm not gonna specify the second argument because that's the location on the computer that we wanna put it onto. I could put dot, as in this folder, or I could specify a folder. For now, I'm gonna leave it blank and hit enter. One file pulled. So now if I look, that test.txt file has been pulled from the device and put onto my machine. Importantly as well, you can fire any Unix command into the phone by just using the adb shell command and then giving the command that you want to fire. In this case, I'll pass in ls and it will print out the contents of the root directory of the phone. Now keep that in mind as we look back at the vidpull script. You can see in this script that adb is used twice. The first time is with the shell command that I just showed you, and the second time is the pull command that I showed you previously. This script may look a little bit complicated, but let me break it down and show you how simple it really is. The first line is simply an echo, so it will print out pulling newest video. The second line stores the result of this big long command into the variable called file. The command itself is doing an adb shell, which remember fires any Unix command we want into the phone, and it's firing in the command ls, and it's pointing at a certain directory in the phone, the SD card DCIM camera folder. This will print out the contents of the camera folder on the phone. Then we see a pipe, which takes the result of that first little command and greps it, so it looks for just the MP4 files, or the files that contain MP4. We then see again another pipe, and we take the result of that little command and tail it, and tail is essentially reading backwards from the file, so reading from the bottom up, however many we tell it. In this case, we say one. So tail n1 will just read the last line of the previous input. Then we see one more pipe, and we pass the result of the previous command into sed, and sed is a stream editor. 
So it will take some text and it will change it depending on how we tell it to change it. In this case, we're simply saying, please remove any weird carriage return uh, characters that sometimes ADB likes to append. As I said before, the entire result of that long command will be taken and stored in the file variable. And hopefully at that point, we have a single file name for the most recent video that we recorded on the device. Finally, the last line is an ADB pull command. Remember, ADB pull pulls a file from the phone and puts it onto our computer. In this case, we're telling it to pull the file that we previously found, so the file name of our most recent video, that exists in the SD card folder, DCIM camera folder, and bring it onto our computer. Now I want to demonstrate the vidpull script to you. So I have this old Android device that's cabled into my machine. I'm going to the camera app and I'm going to record a video. This is a quick video. I'm now gonna go over to my machine and I'm gonna type in the vidpull script and trigger it. And as you can see, immediately it's run, it was very quick, and it has copied over this 2019 08 27 uh, MP4 file. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to just open it on my machine here to prove that it is what I just filmed. What I want you to take away from this video is if you have a process that you're doing two or three times in a row, maybe there's a way to automate it. Maybe you can write a really quick script that means you never have to do that process again, like my vidpull script. Now I never need to manually find the video and download it onto my machine. I hit vidpull and go. Hopefully you've also learned a little bit about ADB and the incredibly powerful things that it can do. If you want to know more, please head back over to that Google developers page linked down below. I'll also include the script in the uh, description down below, but a little bit of a warning, the folder location for your camera might be slightly different than it was for mine. I hope this has been enjoyable and somewhat helpful. And finally, thank you very much for watching this video and supporting this channel. It really means a lot to me. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, please share it with anybody that you think would be interested. Thanks for watching. See you next time.